Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What have you up to? Right, as you, as no one got back to me in the last episode, I'm just going to assume from where I left off, which was restoring this, then I'll restore that outside. Um, so, let's, uh, first of all, let's just do, see what the thing's actually worth before I've done any checks. I don't think I've done any checks. Oh, I may have done some checks. Yeah. So what's, what's this thing worth? Uh, what did I buy it for? Buy price, 30, 30 odd grand. Mm, okay. Right, first things first. Let's move it to the washer, shall we? Wash all the grime, grime off it. Ooh, okay. Looks a lot cleaner now. That done anything to the value? Not much. Right, okay. Let's move it back to... Let's leave it to move it to Lifter 1, because there's nothing in Lifter 1 anyway. So, and let's start tearing bits off it, shall we? Um... I wonder if the engine still runs on this. I think I did a compression test on this. Yeah, I think I... Oops. Where's my tool kit? Where's my normal... Uh, this won't have an OBD, so let's just test some of these bits out first, see if that helps. All I'm doing is devaluing the car. Oh, one of those tyres is still in good nick. But anyway, I digress. Let's, again, start ripping more body panels off. Some of that looks almost in fairly good shape, you know. I might keep some of that on this. I'm probably going to sell this car. I'm not overly fond of it. I just bought it just because it was there to buy. And it looks... Um, Fairly decent. Uh, the new there's been a new DLC since last and the new episode. Um, was it the Hot Rod DLC? I actually have bought a Hot Rod, um, so that will be coming at some point. Can I start taking, removing internal bits, please? See, them seats are still in good nick, you know. So they're going back in it. I think a lot of this end up going back in it. I think this was a barn find. If memory serves me right. Let's have a quick look. Um, yeah, I, I originally bought this from a barn, yeah. So it probably explains why it's so expensive and it's in fairly good shape. Right, anyway, let's put it up in the air. Sally, go up. Did I take that other panel out? I did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take the wheel out though. That can come out. Uh, normal mode, please. Thank you. All right. Let's get the oil drainer. Move it to one. And I'm going to be needing that in a minute as well, so I might as well move that. Uh, use no oil. Okay, cool. Return to sender. Right, let's um, start ripping the back end off and working our way forward. See, those, t those wheels look good. Some of this still looks fairly good condition, you know. 
as that is the case with barn finds. Scrapyard finds, they're going to be wrecked, but barn finds, they're still relatively good. Not found an E-type yet. I'm looking for one. I did find something else again, though, and I bought that. Um... I found a couple of things actually which I bought from auction. You gonna let me have that bit? Yeah, thank you much. That can come off. That can come out. That can come out. Tank. Come out. Let's remove the exhaust while I'm here. Scoot over to this side. Rinse and repeat. That wheel doesn't look so good. A couple of these bolts are a bit tired. Come on, give me those shoes. Thank you. Much. almost brand new. Definitely within 50%. So. And that uh, drive axle looks fairly good, Nick. But I can't take it off just yet. goes that bit. Zoink. And that's the back end done. Let's work our way forward. Start removing these bits. Those I can't remove from here. Um, they can stay on the engine to be, to be honest. The start can come out. Yeah, probably sell this again. I don't plan that can stay on there. Don't plan keen at keeping this. I might put a few performance bits like the spark plugs in it, but that's probably about as far as I'm going to go with it. Okay, I'll remove that bit then. And then remove that bit. Off you come. That's it. That can come out as well. Track rod's definitely knackered. And track rod end. And there goes the lower wishbone or suspension arm. I still call them wishbones. Some people call them control arms and all sorts. So how they do come by many a name. I think the radiator is still in this, so I may have to drain the water out of it first before pulling the engine out. Over the side. Come on. Off you come. Thank you. And that's off coming off as well. That looks very good, Nick. Bearing. Uh, 
Hey, that needs to come out. Come on, give me that tar rod. They're non serviceable, so they'll be scrapped. Unless they're still over 50%, which I didn't actually check. Oh, still one cape bushing hiding over here on this suspension frame, so that needs to come out. And then this whole bottom frame can come out. This snail can come out. And that just leaves the engine and electronics on the top. Oh, and the rad, if it's still there. Which I don't think it is. No rad, so I don't need to worry about draining it. Um, so, the, in theory, the engine can just come out then. And it disappears into my pocket. That can go in back to the... Most of this is tired. Some of that's still in good nick, so... It will be used again. Right, cool. So that's everything off this car that can become off this car. Um, right, that's. I don't think it really needs it, but I'm going to use the welder anyway. Mind your eyes. See, yeah, no, it's fairly good, Nick. Definitely going to be repainted a different colour, though. That's for sure. Um, just cause, mind you, saying that I don't have to live with it. I'll be selling it. Um, I could save money by not painting it, um, but I might anyway. Uh, let's see how much it's whoops worth now. Well, present condition, I'm losing a lot of money, but. Once we start throwing bits back on it that are restored, we might start making some good cash. I knew some of those parts were still good, fresh, and fresh condition. Oh, that's close. Almost, almost wrecked that. Let's take that other brake disc off and put that one on. Again, save money by laving them. If they can be saved, we shall save them. At least the U-bolts, uh, or horseshoe bolts as some people call them, made it. But there's no more brake this to do because this has drums on the back, so probably we'll have to buy a new pair of drums. Which is a bit silly really because you can actually lave out a a set of brake drums as well. All depends on how badly they're gone. Nine times that tends to cease to get a new drum. But if they're just got a little lip on them or they're a bit just a bit tired, not knackered then you could just clean them out. Oh, 
Almost there. Just got to put the engine on my um, out of my pocket into the onto the stand. Well, that's that done. Uh, I won't obviously. I'll save the boredom of restoring that. Uh, Be fair, that looks in fairly decent nick. I think a lot of that will be all right. But anyway, let's actually start putting body panels back on. Ah, hang on, I forgot to restore body panels, didn't I? In all my excitement. I forgot to restore the body panels. Okay, they're over. I could stick them back on as is, but as I've got the tools and the ways and the means to restore them, might, again, might as well restore them and make a bit more moolah. That's it, done. That's it, done, okay, right. No, oh, it doesn't have a front bumper. That's a shame. We can get one. See, they're over 75%, well, 75% for that one. So they're going back on. I don't see why throwing, they're still in usable condition. About the windows, well, that restored. But the window again, 75%, so or 76, 60%, again, acceptable. Again, acceptable. Should have put the interior back in, really, but we, I think we need to put some interior in here. No rear window. Okay, not a problem. It's a boot, not a trunk. Again, that that, is, that was ninety percent. These look like aftermarket parts as well. They don't look like stock lights. Does this have a another plate? No. Again, I'm not going to customize it because. I'll buy the plates for it, but so I need one of them. I'll put them on the list while I'm at it. Um, one of them. How much is it worth so far? Just the shell. Let's have a look. Still making a loss, but because I've ripped all the guts out of it, but just the shell on its own. I could sell all those parts and probably make a difference, but anyway. Normal mode, please. I need to sully go up. And I'll start from front and work my way back. Have I got any slightly tough more? There, yeah, those can go. I need to sell them. I use the. Not the brand new bits on these. I'll use as many as the slightly tired on the last legs. Well, not on the last legs, but still usable. So it's over 52% on that side. I should really sort of have one there and one there, but. Again, there. Usable. I oh, know, it seems a bit silly, but he might come back to this garage at some point and go, Oh, I need these replaced, and can you sort these out for me? And I'll go, yeah, thank you. Yeah, well done. No problem, mate. Uh, did the steering rack make it? No, it did not. So that can go on the list. I don't think that. Well, that is over 50%, so...
New rad, we need that. Engine, we can sort that out in a bit. I'll stick the control arms back on. I use 100 because they are a bit of a pig to replace, so I use clean ones for them. Or good ones. That's in poor state, so I'm not going to bother. How about this? Is this? No, no good. I suspect the bearings are probably shot as well. Yeah. So two of them can go on the list. Brake pads? No, I'm going to actually stick a new set of brake pads on there. Um, scoot over to the other side, please. Other side, please. Watch this defy gravity by levitating in air. Oh, that was knackered. Right, okay. I couldn't repair it, obviously. Again, it's going to need a set of bearings. Stick that on. New set of brake pads. How is the exhaust? Is it any good? No. Middle section? No, it hasn't got one. That made it. Shoes should be good. How is the discs or drums? I should again. They're over. They're in good nick. So they're going back on. Wheel and tire will not go back on just yet. That's the only exception to the rule. On if you got new shoes, because there's new shoes on a tired drum isn't such a big thing um because they've got quite a thick pad on them as long as you clean the drum then you're good and it's sort of like surfaced right it's not all warped and out the plate all over the place if it's all warped and i wouldn't even bother i'd i'd um re-skim it and unless i can find a fairly cheap drum to be fair, they're getting. They, you don't see many of them now. You see, still see them on vans and stuff, and some of the cheaper end cars. But a lot of the cars now are all just discs all round. Because it's just safer. Nothing really wrong. Well, I say there isn't nothing really wrong with drums. They're less effective than brakes, obviously. Um, And they're more prone to uh, sort of like um, brake fade as well. And what brake fade is, for people that don't know, a lot of people will know this and just say shush, but for the people that don't know what brake fade is, it's basically what happens is you apply the brake for a duration of time. You can get it on discs as well, on pads on the front as well, on disc brakes. Um, and because the um, brake um, component or the brake pad itself or the shoe gets hot uh back to normal mode let's install parts i'll stick this in the driver's seat actually no 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 i'll stick that back in the passenger side and i'll stick that back there and the driver can get a brand new seat that can go back in Yeah, so what happens is the the, um, the shoe or the pad starts to melt slightly and then 
as it slightly melts and cools off, you get this glaze over the top of it, um, and it reduces its braking efficiency, and so then you get what's known as brake fade. And so the brakes essentially just fade away to nothing. Um, that more or less concludes this episode. Um, I'll do all the engine work off screen. But I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the uh, first episode for this. If you did, again, guys and girls, please feel free to like. If you didn't enjoy this for any reason, any reason at all, please feel free to dislike. Leave comments down below either way so then I'll know and I can try to improve in the future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me a lot. And I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and see future episodes of this or anything else that I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.